Hello, everyone. My name is Joris, a Wikimedian currently based in Accra, Ghana, and I am very excited to take you through the VOX2 for the coolest two awards. Right. So, first of all, VOX is basically a tool that shows Wikipedia users all relevant Wikimedia Commons media, either depicting or related media files based on the article that you're currently reading. What makes this tool a coolest tool? It basically enhances accessibility by allowing users to easily find and view images related to Wikipedia articles, making visual content more accessible and enriching the user's experience, right? Um, let's get to how to be able to install the scripts. To be able to install the scripts, you first need to copy any of this, either for the full version or for the live version. Then once you are done copying it, you can go into your user's global um, JS age, right? Then you paste this particular script over here and save it. Once you are done, you try to bypass your browser's cache to be able to um, have access to this particular tool. Good. Ah. Then once you are done um, bypassing your browser's cache, you should be able to see this view feature over here on your meta. Let's explore how as works on Wikipedia as well. Good. So as we can see over here, as we can see over here, to be able to also import this particular script, we come into our command.js um, page, then we import this particular script over here, just like what I've done over here. Good. Then once you are done doing that, we also bypass our browser's cache. So based on the, our operating system and the browser that we are using, we use or follow the specific commands to be able to bypass our browser's cache. Then once you are done bypassing it, based on the article that we are viewing, we can be able to see the view feature over here. And um, based on that too, we can be able to explore images that are depicting the article that we are reading or the article that we are currently viewing at large, right? So as we can see for this particular article, we have 48 images, right? then we can also search for other random articles as well. Good. So same goes for other articles as well. And um, a big congratulations to Super Hamster and his team for coming up with this, such a wonderful um, tool at large. Thank you very much.